Hello, my name is Eric Fleeting and I'm the editor of the Visuals Producer website. This is the second video uh, covering RX7 Advanced. The first one covered Dialog Contour, this one is going to cover Dialog D Reverb. For those of you who know a bit about Isotope's um, audio editor and repair uh, application RX, uh, those people know that, that there is already a D-Reverb module from version 5, I think. This one is specifically targeted at dialog, so at spoken word. Um, what I have done in this recording is I'm speaking directly in a microphone, a dynamic one, the V7 from SE Electronics right in front of me um, and the other one is over there and since this room has quite a bit of reverberation problems uh, I am going to uh, create another file so that we can use that as a test file for the dialogue the reverb so I suggest that we take a look at this right now and so we are in RX7 advanced again and um, this is the sample file that I spoke about. Um, it sounds like this. Isotopes um, audio editor and repair uh, application. And in this case we have our Dialog D Reverb module. And we also have the uh, D Reverb module that existed before. Dialog D Reverb allows for a clean reduction of unwanted reverberation in dialog recordings. And unlike the D Reverb module that existed before, Dialog D Reverb does not require learning a reverb profile, as you can see when I open the older module, learn, but it leverages a mach machine learning algorithm. So, we now have an entire file at our disposal and I'm going to start with a light reverb attenuation. The reduction is the amount of reduction in reverb that you would like to apply. So in this case you would like to have minus 15 decibels of reverb and an ambience preservation of 85%, which means that about 15% of the resulting signal will still have reverberation. And the sensitivity is 5, which the algorithm uses to separate reverb from dialogue. In this case, you use joint channel. Again, as with dialogue contour, the channel independent is the fastest, but the, le the least accurate method Joint channel is more accurate, but still considerably fast. An advanced joint channel gives you the highest quality results, but takes some, some time to finish. So we can preview this as always and bypass. Uh, in my case here in this file, I am going for a reduction of infinity because uh, the reverberation level is not that high. I'm always going for the highest quality results and I'm not going to re uh, preserve more ambience than 20%. And the sensitivity, well, I'm going to leave it at 5. 5 is in the middle and that's approximately what you need. And I'm going to preview first. Isotopes um audio editor and repair uh, application RX, you hear a clear difference. And so f to me this is quite enough. I have some ambience preservation, it's high quality, I have no more uh, reverb left um, in there and so I'm going to render it. And that takes, as I said, 
a bit of time. And that's it for Dialogue D Reverb. Thank you for watching and see you next time.